belief and probably the absolute confidence that there is an afterlife and that that, that afterlife is much, much better than the here and now. Christianity, because all religious has a God. Well, for me, it's Christianity because that's the faith that I follow. But obviously, there are a whole diversity of faiths: um, the uh, Jewish faith, Islam, uh, and it's essential to life. What first comes to mind when I hear religion is different views that different people have within society. Pagan. So basically, I don't believe there's a god or a devil. I believe in the circle of life and the power of nature. I'm an atheist because I believe there's no god. Very interesting question, what religion am I? Um, I have a mixture of Buddhist philosophy and humanism as my chosen faith. Very aspects of Buddhist philosophy I think are bang on and correct. This is how the world is. For example, the three marks of existence, Dukkha and Nikaranata. Dukkha translates literally to a suffering or unsatisfactoriness and you can't escape suffering. All of us in life are going to get old, are going to get ill, it's a natural part of life. And just like the Buddha says, if you can accept that, you'll have a much more happier life because you can't escape it. And Nika, everything is constantly changing, nothing lasts forever. You're born, you live, you die. It's from that fact of life. I'm not the same person I am today as I was yesterday. I physically change, I'm not the fact that I'm just growing older by passing second. When you get baby until you die, you're physically changed, you are mentally changed. So everything is constantly changing. Then Anatta, no self, no permanent or fixed self, so no soul. So as humanism, it goes into Buddhist principles as such where there is no creator God and there is no afterlife as such. This is the life how we make it now. So that's where I'd say I fit between. I'm a Christian. Initially, it was a fear of hell, but then um, it becomes much more complex after that because you start to look, start to look at the Bible or look at the Holy Scriptures or whichever faith you follow, and they start to speak to you, and the words in there start to make sense to you, and you think that's the way I want to live my life. So you build on an initial fear, possibly, but it comes from that. I think that truly religious people are peaceful. Um, every religion I know about believes that you should not kill. Um, of course, on the flip side, you get the religious fanatics who commit atrocities in the name of their religion. But I think they've, they've totally got that wrong and it's all twisted. I believe religious does not bring peace because of terrorism happening in the world. On the individual basis, yes, I think it does. I think it brings an inner peace because people are... are <sighs> For want of a better phrase, at peace with themselves, they're not fighting or pulling themselves to pieces. Sadly, because there are fundamentalists who take a, a definitive view and an unbending view of their faith, that it tends to bring conflict. So it's a bit of a difficult answer for me to say one thing or the other. I think religion can bring peace, but the problem is in the world today, religion also brings a lot of conflict. They're two sides of the same coin. Um, due to the conflict aspect, it's down to interpretation of the scriptures, which is the problem. And until you get every person in society or with that religious faith agreeing on the same interpretation, then you won't eradicate the problem. You will always have conflict. Not in this country, no. Very often, um, if you're a religious person, you're seen as a bit of a geek. Um, Overseas, I think it has a lot more respect, particularly Catholicism. However, I think religion is important to mankind and it's important that religions get on together and exist together and respect each other's views, whatever they are. I believe religious is not respected enough as people pe think relig religious people are crazy. No. Religion generally is not expected, and I've linked to what I previously said about conflict and peace, there'd be far more lot of peace if religions, they do recognise there are different sects and divisions within one religion and many, that some argue they're all paths to God or what you want to do, so just accept it. If everybody was more tolerant, just say, well, this is like what they believe, they can get on with it. Fine, not a problem. But some people are not willing to do that, they're more focused on trying to push their own particular ideals and beliefs onto other people and saying, you will all follow this. That's really not the case. If we're all individuals, surely we can all have an individualistic religion. 
different